Okay, so this is a uh, orthographic view, and um, I'm using the paintbrush here just to kind of demonstrate for you, uh, so you can see pretty easily um, how you go about creating your different views. Um, so you'll notice I drew red lines in here, um, and that represents like basically from like a back view. Um, you know, you get this hidden line right here and that represents from the left side so if you're looking at the left side from this way um, you're not gonna see this this area right in here so you draw a hidden line right there to represent that area um, and that's basically what you're doing so the red lines here are lining up all your different uh, views so from the top you have you know something that looks like this uh, where you have this piece and this piece right here and that's if you're looking at my cursor just follow my cursor here so this piece and this piece um, from the picture or from the top view you can see they line up from the front view and so the the, uh, the incline here on the front view is actually when you're looking at it from the top it's going to be in the middle uh, so that's basically what you're doing when you're drawing out your views for orthographic. So you're just lining up uh, your different surfaces and drawing those out. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this piece. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and show you one of the assignments that I was given in uh, one of my college classes uh, so you can see how you know it kind of correlates with this. All right, so we're back for the uh, second portion of the orthographic uh, views video. Um, right now I'm showing you an assignment that was given to us in college for uh, orthographic view and cube theory. Um, so you'll notice that the object is in the upper left-hand corner, and then you have the top, front, bottom, right side, left side, and rear side views. Um, now, in the uh, previous video that I showed you there uh, before leading into this one, you know, I was talking about the spacing in between objects. You'll notice on this, uh, they had us do four squares in between each uh, each view. So if you see it right there, and that's in between every every single view. Um, and you'll you'll probably be assigned something similar to that if you're uh, doing a drafting project and they're wanting you to do multiple views. So. The uh, just uh, FYI, real quick, the dotted lines represent hidden lines, and I'm not going to cover those in this video. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that's what those are, and um, I'll cover those in more detail at a later time. But that is the orthographic view, and um, if you're in drafting right now, or you're planning on getting into drafting, uh, this is one of the basic courses that they'll have you cover. Uh, before getting into the software programs. All right, but that's all I have for today. You guys uh, take care and stay tuned until next time. Thanks.